metformin is an anti-diabetic drug which has been used for over 50 years in the treatment of diabetes. It is therefore one of the oldest, most potent and I would say one of the safest anti-diabetic drugs. It is also used in children with type 2 diabetes, in pregnant women who have gestational diabetes, in the treatment of PCOD or polycystic ovarian disease in young girls and therefore its safety is beyond any question. Recently it's been in the news however because in the United States the FDA had to pull out some brands of metformin because of quality issues. As you know metformin is produced by hundreds of companies many of them are generic drugs. Now what they found in the US was that some of these companies, most of them are not very well known companies, some of their products especially the extended release forms of metformin of a few of these companies were found to have a contaminant called as NDMA. Now NDMA is believed to be carcinogenic and recently NDMA was also found in other drugs not just in metformin but in ranitidine and many other drugs. It's something which is used in the preparation of medicines in general. It's not the constituent of the medicine as such but something which is added particularly to make the drugs extended release. So when the FDA looked at some of the companies they found that they had NDMA levels which were in excess of the permitted levels and therefore FDA asked them to withdraw the drug and to produce new batches of the drug. Let me hasten to add that the major Indian companies which supply metformin to the United States and a large proportion of the metformin used in the United States actually comes from these Indian companies have not been included in the list. In fact, these companies have shown that their products do not have any NDMA at all. That is, it is even below the detection limit and therefore the drug is extremely safe. Again, I repeat that it is the NDMA levels found in some extended release preparations of metformin produced by a few companies which were asked to withdraw and to reintroduce metformin without that NDMA. The reason I'm making this video is that I've been receiving hundreds of phone calls, emails, SMSs uh, from my patients saying, I believe metformin is not safe and should I stop it? There is nothing wrong with metformin at all. As I said, it's been used for over 50 years. Some companies had a little problem with their quality in producing the drug and those companies have been asked to withdraw the product. An example that I can give you is, suppose there are a hundred companies making some idli mix and some sambar mix, let me say. And after screening all the companies, the drug controller of India or the food safety authority of India finds that in one of the companies, there was some contaminant in the idli or the sambar mix and they said this product cannot be used, you have to remove it from the market. Does it mean that idli has to be banned? Does it mean that sambar has to be banned? It's not the problem with idli or the sambar, it's the problem with how it is produced and that is the distinction I want to make that it's not metformin which is the problem but one or two of the companies which were not making it according to the US FDA standards and therefore they had to be pulled out. In fact, it is safe to say or I would go as far as to say that metformin actually has been shown to have anti-cancer properties. In fact, there are numerous clinical trials which have been done by cancer specialists, oncologists including metformin which is not at all meant for treatment of cancer along with the other cancer drugs because they believe that metformin actually reduces the incidence of cancer and improves the cancer status in people. Metformin is also known to reduce weight, to reduce the blood pressure, to improve the liver function, 
and to even prevent aging or to slow down the aging process apart from being one of the best anti-diabetic drugs which has stood the test of time and has been used for over 50 to 60 years with virtually no side effects. So my message and my suggestion to you is please continue to use the metformin particularly from well reputed companies which have been the pioneers in making metformin. There's nothing wrong with metformin at all. So please continue to use your metformin safely. Thank you.